all, me all, me all. Uh, very happy to be here for my fifth year speaking at the Global Blockchain Summit. Uh, I want to thank the folks at Wang Chung for inviting me to speak each year. And, you know, I have the future, uh, the real pleasure about speaking about decentralized applications. For anyone not familiar, DApps are this idea of decentralized applications. And in 2013, I wrote the white paper first describing the theory of decentralized applications. And I made a very bold prediction that everything that can be decentralized will be decentralized, right? And so it's been amazing since 2013, here we are in 2019, to see that really come true. So as an example, here are all the companies today that are embracing blockchain, right? We're seeing hundreds of initiatives from major corporations all over the world embracing this idea of a decentralized economy, right? And it's been amazing to see that evolve, you know, at first, they had a simple idea, okay, we'll have a private blockchain, and then they understood that they have to connect that to the public blockchain. So we've seen this evolution by the major companies as they begin to understand the blockchain technology. And just to give you a sense for how quickly the industry has grown, we've gone from less than a billion dollars of revenue in 2018 to now project it to be more than $15 billion in blockchain software that's going to be done by enterprise by 2022. So only three more years to go before we reach that growth. I mean, this is really unprecedented. We're talking about 90% year-on-year growth, right? We haven't seen those type of growth rates really since the early days of the internet. And I believe it's because what's happening is blockchain is fundamentally shifting all of these basic fundamentals in a company. All the type of places where they needed a middleman, all of the places where they needed to have an intermediary, they're having to rethink all of those models, right? And so here's the transition that we see, right? They have the database, you know, there's no external access. So they eventually learn about a private blockchain, you know, they open up a little more. Um, but I think the next theme we're gonna see going forward is called hybrid blockchain. And I've been talking about this idea for years that we're going to see the interconnection between the private systems and the public systems. So let's give that a name. That is hybrid blockchain. And it's really the same evolution we saw with the early internet. The companies to get to know the technology, many of them opened intranets inside of their companies. And after they got comfortable, they eventually connected those systems with the public internet, right? And today, you can hardly tell the difference in interacting in a private system that connects to the public web. And so I think we're gonna see a very similar transition in blockchain from these private systems as they connect to the public protocols. Because what enterprises are learning is that the real magic, the real power of blockchain is the public network. It's open for everybody to participate. It really allows the community to build a whole swath of tools on top. And so they get the benefits of everybody in the world building on a public blockchain benefits everyone else using the technology. And so that network effect has continued to build and build, and it's really been exciting to see an industry where with every new invention, everybody else in the industry benefits, right? Because you have to remember, most of these protocols are open source. So as soon as there is a new invention, it ripples across the entire industry. And so with blockchain, we've seen a speed of innovation that we've rarely seen in any other industry. Because normally you have an invention, it gets patented, somebody owns it for 10 or 20 years, and then eventually other companies can license or copy that technology. Here we have cycles that are months instead of years. And so it's exciting, we even talk about blockchain time things move at this accelerated rate, 
and it's because of that underlying open source and a public network that really makes that, that possible. The last thing I want to say about that is the importance of connecting to public blockchains is it gives you a persistence that you don't get with private blockchains. If you only have a private blockchain, once the project is done, you turn off the server, the blockchain goes away. And the fundamental idea of blockchain is that this is an immutable system, it's a persistent system, that anybody can build on top of it, and they know that they'll be able to still use it years later, and that that infrastructure will grow. And so there's going to be an enormous benefit to all these companies to connect these private systems into these long-lasting public systems. So it's been amazing to see that evolution. And if you're here today from one of these companies, I would just encourage you to go beyond what you have sort of available internally. Every company is attempt, you know, tempted to only use their own technology. Right? Everybody thinks they can do things internally. I really encourage you to learn about these public blockchains and envision how you can benefit from them and connect into them. Then you will unleash a much greater degree of power than if you only do it internally. So I'll, uh, I'll keep it short today, but this idea, I think, of hybrid blockchain is how we, in the next 10 years, can get billions of people onto these systems. Because the public technologies have created something amazing, but most of the users are still in the private enterprise. And in order to transition all those users to these systems, we really need to connect the two. So excited to be here for another year, happy to talk to everyone, and uh, just thank you for taking the time to learn about this industry as it's still very, very early. Right? If I were to draw the comparison to the internet, it's 1998. Right? There are 50 million, 100 million users, but we're seeing this wave of adoption coming. Right, just between Libra and Telegram and Kakao, there are a billion users about to get introduced to blockchain and digital currency in the next 12 months. So get involved and dive in, and I think you will have a huge effect on your career and see the benefit in the coming years. So anyway, thank you everybody. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.